Hey folks, AJ, Hippie Fertilizing. I'm out here on an acre lot. Let me show you some of this. Boom, this beautiful lawn footage. Now, I've been working on this lawn for maybe about over a year now. Uh, maybe, maybe two years. Not 100% sure, I'd have to go back and look. But when I first got here, all this grass was messed up. They had overseeded it with rye grass, put down a bunch of weed and feed stuff, chinch bugs were taken over, all kinds of stuff. It was a hot mess, right? Uh, I don't know how they came across me, but you know, they were like, hey, we heard you're the dude to fix this. Get out of here and fix it. And of course, as I try and do this video, I get some wind. Awesome. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead so why i want to show you all this okay is to show you that i've stayed away from chemicals on this lawn all right no fungicides no herbicides no barrier stuff a uh, little bit of chemical fertilizer right ammoniacal nitrogen uh some bios like some uh protein hydrosylate um humates humic acid uh, urea methylene, if y'all know what that is. If you don't, look it up. It's really good stuff. M molasses, if I didn't mention that already. Um, bioinoculants. Biostimulants, which humic acid, molasses, seaweed are biostimulants. And then bioinoculants, which are also in a class of both biostimulants and bioinoculants. Okay, there is a little bit of weeds out here. All right. Um, and if you look along... I don't know, the corner over there, that was all tore up. Boop. And then uh, along the back side here, on the other side of the house was in much more poor condition. We took a lot of sand, started leveling that out. Uh, this lawn has taken some time, some effort, and some patience, right? Which I guess time and patience can go together. Uh, But my whole point is this, right? This is about an acre lot, it's really big. And I will always encourage all my customers, stay away from herbicides and fungicides and even pesticides. Now, when they had the chinch bug problem all back here, right? I said, hey, go get you a five gallon backpack sprayer, load it up with some soap and water and soap and water that sucker. They hired another dude to come and help around the property. Uh, and when I came by to check on what he was doing, because I didn't want him to, you know, jack up my acre lot that I'm working on. They seriously sprayed some soap and water. Um, I could smell the soap from down the street. But guess what? It knocked out all the bugs, like the chinch bugs with so far not causing super duper damage that I couldn't recover as easily on the lawn. And I just know that there isn't enough of this out there. So when you're looking into lawn care and fertilizing, like look into biostimulants, look into bioinoculants, look into how to support soil biology. It is critical, okay? Just look at this lawn all right, this is a big piece of turf to cover. We're in like League City, Texas, uh, Galveston County. It's hot, it's dry, it's wet, it's all the above. We go through extremes of weather just like everyone does, right? And I wanna tell you it's about more environmental resilience than it is perfection, okay? I'm more concerned about what's the impact gonna be on the soil, soil microbes, fungi, uh, and then all the other critters, earthworms, dragonflies, bees, butterflies, uh, even ants, spiders, things that will typically hear us and like, oh, I need to kill that. Like, no, we need this kind of stuff in our lawns because our lawns are ecosystems. Okay, they're whole ecosystems, whether you have a thousand square foot of turf or 46,000 square foot of turf. Now, obviously this isn't 46,000, that's not even an acre, it's 42,000 something. Um, 
but my point is it's like every lawn is an ecosystem and we should be working hard to improve our ecosystems to improve our environment to make a healthy difference instead of this whole treat and defeat mentality like is it a fungus i need a fungicide is it a bug i need a pesticide is it a weed i need an herbicide like i always say and i'll say it again if it says side side aside all right just like that three and one junk if it says three and one you better run all right because me and my team we on the ssb train what does that mean support soil biology hop on the train choo choo okay Anyway, check out hippiefertilizing.com. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll be coming out at you with some more. Hopefully, we get some better sound quality, but hey, you know, I just got to try and do what I got to do. Peace.